going on everybody Z here welcome back to some more timberborn so last episode we we did a, a little bit of everything really we got new houses built we got the large row house more research more berries uh more power more lumber mills more gear workshops <laughs> more water more food more everything so uh yes today we are going to try and I want to get some of this stuff finished up here so that way we can have our own little personal lake because that sounds like a fantastic time doesn't it i think it sounds like a fantastic time so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so how do we want to do this well i'm actually thinking this island right here might be a good spot to reach over here instead of going like this way this way this way all the way over here if we just cut through right here that might give us a, a little bit better, I don't know, a little bit better options, I guess. And you know what? I don't really need this uh, gatherer flag here anymore, so we're going to go ahead and just destroy that. But we're going to go ahead and utilize this pathway because, like, why not? Might as well. Might as well. So we'll put those there. Grab some pathing. Uh, we're going to put these here. And actually, let's put another one there just for the sake of making things easy and simple and straightforward. And let's let that rock and roll. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. All right. So <laughs> uh, I can place that there. And the trees are getting cleared out. Very nice. Now, what I want to do is... Oh, actually, you know what? Shoot. Whilst we're talking about it, we need to go over here. And we need to put a, another row of platforms here. Because these are going to get taken out. These four. And those are going to get replaced with floodgates. And I already have a bridge here, so I'm just going to move the bridge over here, destroy these, put the floodgates in, call it a day. You know what I mean? But what we're trying to do is basically just get a lake here, you know? Just get a nice little lake in here, so that way there's always water, there's always happy little beavers swimming everywhere. Um, and then that'll clear off this area, and then we can mess with this area over here. But essentially, I think if, if I keep this body of water in here, that's going to keep all of this green. Well, it's going to keep this half green. It's not going to keep these green. It'll keep this half green, and it'll keep most of these trees green over here. Um, yeah, yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. Yes, okay. Let's go ahead and let's get stuff sped up here, because basically three times is the normal speed. <laughs> it's just the normal speed at which everybody plays. What speed do you play at? Leave a comment down below. I'm curious. Okay, so, you know, I'm actually thinking labor, a builder's hut. Employs builders, extends its range by building. Let's unlock this bad boy and let's put it in here. Oh, I want to put it right here. Am I seriously going to clear all those out? I think I'm going to have to seriously clear all those out. Okay, we're going to clear that out. Just because we don't need those berries. I can plant berries anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, look at all the berries we got over here. I don't need these berries. Uh, we're going to put a builder's hut here. And the reason we're putting a builder's hut here is because that's a very uh, a centralized location to where they can build pretty much anywhere. Um, and then that might actually give me the ability to have them build off of here and go this way. <laughs> we could go this way, like this. Build a levee here and then floodgates on top of that. I just don't know how we're going to build across this. That's that's the one thing I'm kind of interested. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about, you know? Oh my gosh, these floodgates are already almost done. Uh, oh, they're not going to be able to reach this one, are they? Um, yeah. They're not going to be able to reach that. Okay, let's go ahead and raise these all the way up. So that's one height right there. Is it squeaking? Oh, it's not squeaking through. Okay, so let's just cancel that one. See, how come that one blocked the water? Like the other ones didn't i don't know maybe it's because there's not that much water there i mean there's water that's not squeaking through i don't know i have no idea all i know is that we need to get water in here i'm hoping i'm really hoping that once we get these that this will actually fill up a little bit oh look at our pathway got done okay so let's go ahead and uh, let's mark this path like that and then, oh, actually, we need to bring it out to right here like this. And then we're going to destroy uh, these. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, destroy those. And then water escaping floodgates right there. Okay. 
Now, ideally, we're going to leave these down all the time. These ones are going to stay down. That way, the water can go in. Because we need flow through here in order to keep these wheels going. Oh, look at that. Okay, this got done. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and build our pathway to here. Oh, almost done. Mark that one to get taken out. And then let's get our labor builder's hut. Let's see. I'll put that there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Put that there. And let it do its thing. This needs to go so we can connect the path. And then they can go over here. And then we can connect the path um, here as well. Ta-da! <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I think once these get built, I think this is going to fill up a little bit. I really do. I think it's going to. <gasps> oh, they're working on it. They've started working on the floodgates. All right. Oh, it's super exciting. You know, for the amount of wood that we're going through here. Do we have these marked for cutting? Yeah. I'm almost thinking we need another lumber. A lumber jacket here because like harvest the rest of these trees because these are that's eight trees these are only ones man i kind of wish those were eight trees or the those were, i wish those were the other type of tree too you know let's put another lumberjack in here let's do that let's see what happens okay so these floodgates are closed we need to open those that way we can get flow because that was a problem we won't have we have no flow in here and that's not going to allow these to run You know what we're gonna have to build either these gates need to get built or this whole section right here needs to get built because we're not gonna have enough water running into this area like we can't we can't raise the water level in here and well a water dump i mean i guess we could dump water in here but that's not gonna that's not gonna help our power situation at all hmm interesting so I'm not going to be able to get this one built because it is outside of our district area. Oh, so we're going to build an entirely new district if we want to get that built. Okay, so you know what? Here's the next plan. Here's the next plan. Since this isn't going to get built, this isn't going to happen. Let's go ahead and unmark this. So the next best thing that I could come up, we'd have to put another town center somewhere and we could block here and here, or we could place the town center somewhere to where we could block here, 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 and here. And then that would block all of this. And then we would have control of all the water in this side of the map. Is if we blocked up this one, this one, and this one, and this one. The only problem is, I don't think one district is going to be able to make it all the way from here to here. I mean, maybe. Okay, well, we've successfully cut off, cut off this area right here. <gasps> oh, it looks so terrible. Okay, so the block height's at 0.5 on that. We still have flow through here. I just don't know what the range on this thing is. It's like... It doesn't look like it's going to be big enough. Like, I think we're going to have to have two districts in here in order to make this happen. You know, honestly, if we blocked up this one right here, as much water's coming in, this, we could probably block up a few of these, and it would probably fill up with everything. Because we've got... I mean, we've got this source of water incoming. So if we just blocked this section and like this section right here, we might get enough. Hmm. All right, we're going to throw a district center right here. Now... We do have a drought coming in, but I think we can go ahead and expand this. This way. 
And the reason I want to get this one controlled is because this is the biggest one. That's gonna be like our uh, that's gonna be like a good control kind of uh, floodgate, you know. And then essentially what's gonna happen is we need to go down into the water. Just trying to pre-plan some stuff here. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. Let's grab floodgates. And let's throw floodgates in all of these. And let's see what it says. Construction is too far from builders. Build more paths or a new district. It's going to say the same thing for all of these. Okay. So. All right. So since we're going to have that, we're going to have to have distribution post. Uh, and drop off points. Okay. So first drop off point gonna be there I'm gonna have to clear out this whole area right here basically all right so that's gonna get all destroyed there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to get some paths in here and we're gonna make a path going to here so that way we can distribute all the stuff that we're gonna need to build over there <laughs> oh this is gonna be so much fun I don't think our gatherer can keep up with the berries here. <laughs> I think we might have a berry overload. Let's get another berry farmer here <laughs> to help help deal with those. All right, and we'll connect these paths up here. He Wait, what? Oh, it must be separated by a gate. That's right. Um. Sure, there's the gate. Okay, so let's get our distribution post there. We'll throw a drop-off post thing right here too, just because, I guess. And then, how did those get built? Oh, are these these built automatically? Oh, no way, that's awesome. You know what I just realized? They're not going to be able to get the stuff over here to build this. Darn it. And these need planks, don't they? Yes, they do. Um, shoot. I'm going to demolish this. And we're going to put it right here. There. Hopefully they can get over here to build that. <laughs> now, we're going to set a route to deliver logs and planks. We're also going to do bread. Um, you know what? Let's do water as well. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to do that. Oh, drought started. Hold on. Before we get the drought started, let's go ahead and lock these gates. Those will be good. And there's no point in locking any of these gates because the water's not going to stay in there. Okay, so we're going to have to have... They're, they're going to have to be somewhat self-sustainable if we're going to have this work. So, and ultimately, all I, need is, all I need is this in here until these are built. And then we can pull this whole district away and they can go back to where they were. Because I can control these myself. So, we're going to need somebody to gather wood. Um, unfortunately, is there a natural ramp somewhere? Because they're not going to be able to get up there with that. So I guess we'll set a lumberjack flag. I guess right here. It's like an awful spot. The problem is like I can't get... Hmm. Work resource for demolish that one. And then we'll throw a path up here. Like this, but the problem is that this isn't going to get built. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. We're going to have to try to, because there's no, the problem is that there's no lumber on this island anywhere to get anything started. Like, I can't, we can't build this. We can't build that. It, it just, it won't, it won't get built. So there's no way for them to get over here to give any lumber. And there's no way to get lumber to go up to this area right here. You know what I mean? It's like a catch 22. Like we're stuck with this little, this district. 
And the trees right here, I can't get these because they can't go down because <laughs> they need stairs. Oh my gosh, I thought of it. I figured it out. Oh, and I should have figured this out earlier. So what I need to do... I don't even know if this is going to work. But we're going to try. We're going to delete this. We're going to put the gate right here. Oh, uh, where is the gate? We're going to put the gate there. And then we're going to demolish this. And then we're going to put our labor drop-off point right here. Because... Oh, it's still not connected, though. It's still not connected. This building is connected to any district center by pass. Okay. Well, I was hoping to use the drought to get some lumber in here so they could come down here to grab it, but they can't get down there because there's no stairs. Hmm. All right. Obvious answer is just to put this building here. <laughs> Somehow somehow just put this building here like this with, <laughs> with lumberjacks here and then I can't even do that because we can't get planks oh my gosh all right the best I can do uh we're gonna have to have a bunch of districts we're just gonna have to have a bunch of them a bunch of little districts until we get everything done that we want to get done district center it's gonna go right here uh must be separated by a gate that's fine we're going to move this guy, this drop-off point, because I don't need that drop-off point there. We're going to go ahead and delete this path. Which button is it? That one. Yes. Okay. Delete that path. Throw this in here. Grab a gate. Boom. There's that. District center. Look at this. We're going to have a fresh new one right there. And then we're going to have a drop-off point. Uh, right there. Okay. These guys are going to go... So there, you give us bread, um, water, we're going to do lumber, or we're going to do, um, where's wood, we're going to do, oh, planks, and wood, where are you, wood, where's the wood, log, alright, so that's what we're going to do there. And then within this district, we should be able to prioritize this. And then we can prioritize this. So that way those can get built. Now, I don't know how far this is actually going to reach out in these directions, but we're going to find out. Um, and we're going to try to get, we're going to try to get as much built as we can. And then if I need another district, we're just going to pop down another district. Now, ideally what's going to happen here is that we're going to have as few beavers here as possible. To only basically move things from point A to point B and get the little couple things built that we need until, I guess, I don't know. We're going to see. Let's just, let's get going with it. Let's get, um, let's get two beavers. I want two adults to go to district four. Wait, why is this district four? I don't want this district four. This seems to be district two. All right, migrate two adults to district two, migrate. Okay. So that looks good. And then, gosh, we could even throw up a, a row house right here. <laughs> oh, that'd be perfect. Actually, that would actually be really perfect. Uh, 35 logs, so geez Louise. Uh, that's okay. All right, so we'll do that. Let's go ahead and let the, let the water flow back in here. See, they're going to work on these. Okay, so now, what is our range at? So, our range, we're not going to hit this one right here. We're not going to be able to get to that. That's fine. So, let's go ahead and prioritize this. And that. And these. If we can. And then we should have... There should be food and water in here, right? Water, food. Okay, cool. Looks good. Okay, one of our little exits is blocked. Look at this. Check this out. Let's raise that up all the way. Look at that. We've got one of them blocked. Okay, so now uh, we're going to see if we can get to these other ones. I don't know if we can or not. I don't think we're going to be able to hit over here. I mean, 
it's going to be close if we can. I mean, they are working on the the stair over here, so maybe if we maybe we can. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to decide. I mean, it stops there, but they're working on it right there. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if we want to, because we could build this up a little bit more. Could put a water wheel in here. Could put a plank maker. We could do some farming stuff in here. Did you finish that? See, they did finish it. I wonder. I want to build this this way. Too far from builders. Uh, build more paths or a new district. So it looks like they can get to these, but not to these. You know what? Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it and let's see what, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then what about these guys? I need these to get taken out. But it looks like they're prioritizing building these. Why are they prioritizing those? You know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm going to let them build it. I want to see what happens here. You know, we could probably get more beavers in here. We've got house for eight. Age 79. Oh, there's only one beaver here. Um, Let's go ahead and bring seven more beavers over here. All right, we're good. Seven more beavers. Let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and hit those. And then let's also, let's do this. Since we're going to have our own beavers over here, let's get a small water thing going. Right there. And then let's get a small water storage. Um, I'd like to have it like... Can I have a large water storage? We might actually be able to fit a large one in here. You know, if I just delete this stuff right here, we totally can. And you know what? Let's do this. Since we have those extra beavers, um, okay, so we've got four in here, one here, plus five, six, seven, eight. Let's get uh, let's get a builder's hut, and let's put that in here. That'll extend the range a little bit, and it'll employ those other beavers. Actually, let's go ahead and mark that as the highest priority. That way, that gets done right away. And then, ooh, you know what? The large water source is gonna require gears never mind forget that we're just gonna do small like that okay that should work that should work and the builder hut is done okay so but three wait a second one beaver there four there how many do we have oh we only have six they must have died of old age they did i need two more. i need two more beavers. how many beavers do we have in here why great population? 34. I think we need some more baby chambers. I think we need more baby making chambers. Like this is, this is awful. I think we're losing beavers more than we're getting beavers right now. This is terrible. Housing. There, let's get those three in there. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I think our beaver population is slowly dwindling. So I think it's starting to happen. I think the water's getting deeper. Do you see this? Look at before these water wheels were like completely out of water. It's getting a little higher. It's getting a little higher. Now, this is about as far as we can go. Um, for some reason they brought planks to this one. They brought they brought some planks over, so I don't know. Uh, but I can tell you right now. Let's go and raise the height on that. If this is the only exit out of all of these. That's going to be, well, that's going to be fine, but we're going to have to build it if we want to keep the water in during the drought. So, uh, we'll see. But look at this. They're already on their way over here. We've got a pathway over here, and then the construction is too far away for them to build her. So, if we need to, uh, we might have to throw a district over here and one over here and, like, make some stuff. But we're, we're making progress. We're making strides in the right direction, I feel like. Okay, so now this one's done. Let's go ahead and raise that one up. I'm telling you, I think it's working. It is working. It looks like they're almost, the water's at almost halfway now. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, so now, curious. When I select the district, I get the paths, right? They use marked paths. When I select the house, I also get the same path. So if I put a house, like if we built a house somewhere over here, um, inhabitants five, uh, let's get this. If I put this in here, 
Will that extend the range of anything? Like, would that extend the range of the way these these could be built? And I could just put a house here and then that would be built? I don't know. That would be nice. But I don't know for sure. We'll see what happens. Okay, so they're going off to work on this house. So what's going to happen? Is it going to extend it out so we can control these? No, it still just shows green. So there's no way to extend this pathway out. Huh? That's unfortunate. So we're going to have to, <laughs> we're going to build another district over here. Darn it. Uh, so we can throw a district here. That's fine. Let's just do it and be done. I mean, it's not hard. It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> All right. So we got another new district. And we're going to see how this goes. So some of these beavers are going to start distributing over here. Are these the distribu distribution beavers? Well, my gosh, they are. Okay, so... Oh, they're actually building this house. Interesting. Huh. That's weird that they're building a house when I have a district gate here. I don't know. So we're going to put this up here and literally only use it to build this one section right here. And then I'm actually curious because I think if I fill up this section right here, block it off, I think this is going to be flowing really fast. Um, I'm just kind of curious to see what happens here. And can they not, can these guys not make it over there? Oh, it looks like maybe... Okay, yes, so there's bread and water already over here. Awesome. And there's a house. So let's go ahead and let's get two beavers into this one and get that built. Actually, you know what? Let's take four. Let's take four adults, throw them in District 5. Okay, they're going to town. They're doing the things. Oh, <laughs> this is exciting. Planks, water, bread. Okay, they really need water and stuff. Holy moly, they need water. Maybe we should build our own little little pump. Man, all I have to do is build these though. Like I, I think we'll be fine. You know what? Do I can I make any can I get any more beavers in here? No. Kinda wish I had some more beavers to do that. Are you guys gonna be okay? I'm hoping I didn't send them to their deaths. Oh, okay, okay, we're good. We're good. But they still need they still need uh wood and planks. Yeah, you know what? We need to get this. We need to get more beavers in here. Let's take some out of somewhere else. Let's go ahead and pause these two. And pause that one. Hmm. Did those go over here? No. Darn. Oh, and we're about to have a drought coming in. Okay, did we get more distribute? Yes. Okay, good. Hey, there they go. Work little beavers work. And then when they're done, we'll destroy everything and we'll just migrate them back. Or actually, we won't even destroy everything. We'll just migrate them back to the regular population and just leave this here with no, no beavers in it. That's fine with me. I'm going to put a little lumber mill, uh, a lumberjack flag right here. Just because we need logs anyways. And I think we have an extra beaver over here. Not connected to the path. Well, once this gets built, then... Uh, yeah, because we're having planks. We're getting planks delivered, like, no problem. But we're not getting logs delivered. So we're just going to let them do uh, some logging over here. Let's see. Let's grab this. Basically, they can cut down all those trees. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to see. Like, I want to get these clogged up and see what... Well, now we're going to be in a drought. So we're not really going to see it. But... Once those are done, I'm curious to see how that's going to work. And then we're probably going to do the same thing, get another district over here. So that way we can, uh, can mess with these. Now, I'm thinking we're probably going to put floodgates here. And we're going to leave it. We're going to set it to um, like 0.9. Oh, you can't. You can't do it incrementally. It's only 1.5 or 0. It's kind of interesting. There we go. Okay, so we got the log. Uh, the the, the the lumberjack in here see now these are going up a lot faster because i actually these all already had planks they just literally needed logs that's funny 
That's funny that that's all I needed. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, that should be it. It's done. Let's set it at one and let's, we're done. We're done here. We're done with this one. You guys can migrate right back to district one. All four adults migrate, have a wonderful time. This should be a district of zero beavers. Fantastic. Goodbye beavers. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you so much for coming out here. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's turn off all of the district five needs. And then uh, the next thing that we have to do is district two, but I want to wait and I want to see what the water, uh, I want to see what the water does now because we blocked off that one, this one, and this one, and they're all, uh, they're all at one, right? Yes. They're all maxed out. So in theory, all of the water in here is going to go right through this right here. I am so excited to see how this is going to work. Oh, I never shut these. Oh, well. And then let's see, these are all at one as well. Oh, no, they're not. Pop those up to one. <laughs> oh, are we going to have a flood? Oh, I hope not. I cannot wait. Okay, we're going to wait 3.9 days. We'll see what happens here. All right, water's coming. And also, I have a lot of unemployed beavers. So uh, we're going to get the <laughs> we're going to get them going again. Uh, Yeah. We're going to get all these guys going again because we got a lot of unemployed beavers just chilling, not doing a whole lot of anything, really. All right, let's watch the water here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see this. <laughs> I'm hoping that everything doesn't flood, uh, but we can control that. We have the ability to control that. Okay, so we got to there. It's hit. It's not able, not able to leave. All right. It's trying to escape here. Can't escape there. Trying to escape here. Can't escape there either. The only spot on this side of the map that it should be able to escape is this spot right here. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. So I think we are going to have to put some on. So let's give it a minute. Oh my gosh. Look how full it is. Oh. <gasps> That's fuller than it has been like this entire time. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh, look at it. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. That is so exciting. We have so much water. Oh, it's so good. So yes, we're going to have to throw um, additional floodgates in here. And then I'm going to individually control these. So that way during this season... Honestly, actually, what we should do is we should just throw in blocks water completely. If we just threw those in here and then just use these to control the water. Actually, that might not be enough. We might need we might need more control than that. Um, that would be super nice. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, look at all the water. Look at all the water. <laughs> oh, it could be even better though. It could be even better. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. So that is actually going to end this episode. We've done it. We've done the things. The next episode, we're going to do basically the same thing over here. Put a, uh, put a town hall deal thing over here, or maybe we'll just throw one like right here or something. Um, we'll just break this up, throw it right here. So that way these can get finished up and then, oh, so exciting how many is here so we've got five here and then there's six seven here hmm i'm wondering you know what we'll do we'll put another floodgate here and then we'll put levees here so that these are damned up and then we can just use these to control the locking essentially so during the wet season, these will be down to let the water out. And during the dry season, we'll go whoop, lock them up. And then this will all stay here. All of this water will stay. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. We have all the water we could ever need. We have officially beat the game. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. This is Timberborn. If you want to check it out, link down below. If you go through Epic Games, make sure you use code Z1 Gaming to check out. It does help out the channel. Shoots a little bit my way, and I do appreciate that. So yes. 
Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time.